Hello, Cancer. Welcome. Let's get into your messages. This will be for Cancer. Any placement. Flip and switch the energy. Table resonates only from the multiple scenarios that will come out in this collective Cancer reading. Thank you for your support. For those that are new, welcome. Anything you need to know about me is down below. And just spirit guys and ancestors, what does Cancer need to know? What's the tea? For cancer. Any placement? We got Venus, offer, romance, love, beauty, creative arts, wealth, harmony, attraction, and an offer. For some of you, somebody wants to give you a solid offer or you're about to do this. Okay, some of you could be thinking about love and already in it. Meaning you have a relationship and thinking about someone. Someone else. What else for cancer? Any placement? Sideways. Alchemy. Ancestors, temperance cards, Sagittarius energy, balance, healing, moderation, transmutation, and patience. Someone's growing impatient. Someone could be afraid that they're going to miss an opportunity with you or this is you. Okay. Someone feels disconnected from their ancestors. Someone could be trying to be in a relationship for family because family deemed it or wants it or betrothed it. Let's see. We will clarify for cancer. Any placement. Some of you are supposed to break generational curses here. Closing out karmic cycles. Most of your karmic cycles are with partners. Yeah, when I said breaking generational curses, we got Taurus energy here with belief systems, mass, facade, conditioning, expectations, conformity, evaluating long-held beliefs, awakening. Some of you are here to do something different than what your family is doing. Illusions, codependency confusion not seeing clearly so we got a mask and glasses and not seeing clearly someone is not being themselves addictions fantasies someone could have lost themselves too okay someone feels stuck and accustomed to a certain way of life but is not who they truly are multiple scenarios someone could be worried about what their family will think one more for cancer We got two more. Release and then let go. Damn. Purge, surrender, emotional release, clearing, wet, walking away, eight of cups, Pisces energy, Pluto, death card, Scorpio energy, endings, resilience, transformation power. We got all water signs here with temptation of somebody coming out of water. So something is about emotions. Okay. Or the intuitive um, nudges that someone has been getting. Self-deception or someone could be intuitive making wise choices but having a hard time with the seven of swords aquarius energy listening to themselves or their intuition which is themselves let's clarify seven of swords is right here too could be very very important third party is there as well someone could be sneaking around or thinking about it with this temptation seven of swords seven of swords so self-deception a whole lot of that or sneaking around uh -huh. We got anxiety, limitations, fear, comfort zone, negative outlook, or overthinking. So that self-deception and this codependency and confusion energy, someone could be in their own way mentally. Let's see. Cut the deck on death card, which is right here. Child, I'm tapped in. Death card, death. Right there. It's time for someone to release wherever they are or whatever situation is currently going on. Let it ride. Let it be. But cancer. What is this energy? I got the sun. Some of you could be on the cancer Leo cuffs. So I have a bonus read for Leo that speaks about your soul is calling you to make change. If you are on a cuffs, check it out. Or dealing with one. Because this is what I'm getting here. What's Venus for cancer? Eight of Pentacles. That's a commitment. A period. Someone wants to work on something, work towards something, see where it goes. Fix something, whatever it is. Someone wants to be with you, they want to put in the work. Or this is you. Period. Mm -hmm. Or this could be you and your person is ready to do this with somebody else. We got letting go and release here. Yeah, you could be in a relationship too and you're ready to be somewhere else with somebody else. We got release and letting go here. What's alchemy or cancer? 
I mean, I can read that Eight of Pentacles other ways, but it came out with Venus and love offer, so why? Why bother? Uh-huh. So if you could have met someone in school or at work. Just period. It's about love, though. Fool card, alchemy, ancestors. So with the zero of the fool, in tarot, the fool is the first being. The first spark of life. Every other card in tarot is the embodiment of the fool. Zero. Clarifying ancestors. Some of you are here to break generational curses, like I said. Some of you there are working with you in spirit. Three of Cups. Ancestors. Remember, yeah, these cards have multiple meanings, but we stick into what we're clarifying. So, some of you are guided to make some changes, do things differently, be the break in the cycle. Take a leap of faith. Go your own way. You could be an earth angel. You're having a hard time with that. You're having a hard time that you're different belief systems. See, the same belief systems that's keeping you stuck is the same belief systems you were brought up in. That's okay. People are going to bring you up a certain way. You go from a, a newborn baby to an infant to a toddler, blah, 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 a young adolescent. Only thing is, you only, you only learn what you were taught. Now it's time for you to go your own way for you adults. Because I click not for, ch not for children every time I post a video. So... It's time for you to do your own thing. Whatever that is. We're too stuck on what people think. And what people want for us. Okay? They call it an individual journey or a soul's journey or the fool. Fresh start. New beginning for a reason. What's belief system for cancer? Ten of Pentacles. Ancestors. Upbringing. Tradition. How you were taught. How you were brought up just period i'm not gonna repeat what i just said it's the same energy ancestors fool card wearing a mask facade expectations conformity long evaluating long held beliefs clarify with the ten of pentacles which is tradition legacy inheritance i just said it family for some of y'all they married and they're worried about if they leave that behind just period or this you some of y'all are meant to be different you're having a hard time with that. No matter how different, different goals for you. The wheel. There's a shift. There's a new cycle. Karmic balance. Karma. Fate. Evolution. Destiny. It's time for you to go your own way. Or this your person. And you could be a part of their own way. Their new way. Illusions for cancer. Five of Pentacles. My, 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 my. What an interesting card to clarify illusions. Black mentality. Woe is me. Not being picked for the soccer team. Left out in the cold. Abandonment issues. So because someone has abandonment, neglect, isolation issues, they stay codependent on whatever relationship, situation they are currently in. It says codependency and confusion, rose-tinted glasses. Whoever they're with can do no wrong. Except they more than likely are. Or this is you. But this card here, fantasy, the living a lie. That's that self-deception at the bottom of my deck. I'm going to check this notification just to see if it goes with this. Some of you could be dealing with a Brianna. Some of you are being a follower. A family. Or maybe all your friends got a boyfriend or girlfriend and you like, I might as well stay with this because I don't want to be single. I don't want to be alone. Three of Swords, it's a third party for a lot of you. Some of you are in a third party situation or energetically you're cheating. You're thinking about someone else emotionally, which makes it a third party because something is in the way of you and the person you're supposed to be with. Or you could be the third party. Your person may be unhappy with whoever they're with and you're the person that gives them a breath of, breath of fresh air. Whatever it is, all three of y'all codependent. The person being cheated on, the person being cheated with. Mm -hmm. Like you're the one they're cheating with, and the person is doing the cheating. Somebody got to heal. Three of Swords is unhealed. It's hurt. It's trauma. In order for something to progress and grow, there's a need to climb this huh, climb this hur hurdle. Leap it. Leap over it. Because it's about, it's about partnership, two of cups. This... This is stuck with the, for me in my mind, I feel like it's stuck with um, lack mentality. I feel like this, that'll be the summary for me, whatever this codependency is. 
Because if someone feels that they don't want to be alone or they're not good enough or they're incomplete without someone, they will continue to try to progress something that is no longer working with band-aids. It's not even duct tape. Okay. And some of you accept the bare minimum from somebody because you grew up with abandonment issues or lack. You could have had everything in the world materially. Five of Pentacles is finance. Uh, but it's also lack. So you could have everything. You could have had everything you needed material wise, but something about affection and emotions. Let's release for cancer. Five of Wands, a relationship, situation, internal things that may be conflicting for you or your person. Surrender, emotional release, Five of Wands, is conflict within. Walking away, a marriage or relationship that's conflicting, fights, arguments, conflict. Eight of Cups, same energy. Clearing, same energy. A new start, a new, a fresh start. What's this Leo energy? Taurus with this Five of Pentacles. Virgo, Ten of Pentacles, Aquarius with the Fool. What's this release? Eight of Cups is Pisces. I think I said that. Star, time to heal. Period. Water on water. This lady got on a water dress. Male or female, though, is wearing the armor of heal. I am healed. Just manifest that. Be that. Because the star is clarifying the damn five of wands. It's time to walk away from whatever this is that's conflicting. Now, this is internal conflict. It's time for you to reevaluate judgment. Regardless, it's time to reevaluate wherever situation you're currently in. There's also karma coming in for anybody that's continuing to create chaos. Five of wands. Okay, you're going to have to walk away from that chaos that you're creating. Just period. With the, with the judgment, angels are stepping in. The divine is stepping in. It's time to let something go. It simply can no longer be. If you're in a marriage, oh, we've been together umpteenth years, umpteenth months, whatever. We have children. Oh, my gosh, we have stuff together. And why am I saying and? You're not happy. This is a cancer reading. If you're a cancer, a cancer cross watching, or a cancer zodiac placement in your birth chart, this is the energy that's here. Someone needs to release. Matter of fact, as I recall, cancer's energy has really been about releasing something for a long time since I've been reading for a long time which means we're in a new year cancer when are we letting go judgment it's really time it's it's really time it's way past time to let go whatever the fuck this was because it's no longer here it's hanging on a thread this is a facade it's an illusion it's a fantasy it's gone pluto letting go for cancer some of you have been inspired to do just that. Great. Star. Some of you are humanitarians, healers of some sort. But you have to release your past so you can step into that, 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 whatever that is. Path, dream, ambition. It's something you're supposed, to, you're called to do. Calling. Answering the calling. Judgment. But in order to step into a state of teaching and healing and inspiring, you have to heal and teach yourself. Actually, the lessons have done the teaching for you. You just got to look at them. What's Pluto? The Cancer. Knight of Pentacles. Now, that's somebody who is learning. That's somebody who's working on themselves, slow and steady. That's someone who's taking their time, being cautious about their next moves. There's also someone who's letting go of a relationship from their past, and they want to give you an offer, or this is you. One more for letting go for Cancer. The Seven of Pentacles. The way that it flipped, to be honest, could have been a waste of time. Yeah, hangman at the bottom of the deck. Something that they spent a lot of time on or someone they spent a lot of time with or this is you. But I really feel like it's embedded. Someone could be planning to come towards you as well. Someone needs to make better plans about their future and not be impulsive. The Nine of Pentacles is slow moving. Slow moving. So resilience to get something done planting the right seeds investing the right investing in the right people and or places with your energy and money efforts what's the seven of pentacles Taurus energy choosing the right path who or what are you choosing to invest in 
period aries energy don't matter about the zodiac this is making a decision to invest or be with the right person or in the right thing just period letting go of what does not serve and choosing a new path well this is your person what's self-deception at the bottom of the day cancer six of one <laughs> it's very funny damn near every every reading i did today got the six of wands i'm trying to think over obstacles um someone could be intimidated by someone that's in the spotlight but I feel like this is about appearances, worried about what people think, so you could be lying to yourself. Self-deception to the Six of Wands, praise and recognition. Appearances matter, ego even, competitive, wanting to look a certain way, be a certain way based on the people around you. Yeah, it's subconscious. Something about the past, Six of Cups. It's time to heal that. It's time to heal this childhood wound I'm feeling as well. Leo energy with the Six of Wands. Leo is energy of triumphing um, and resilience right here power courage so some of you are going to have to really sit down and talk with yourself or release whoever this is that has been lying to you and achieve many great things on your own go your own way eight of cups is a is an energy of self um i feel like self-guided emotional intelligence you become emotionally intelligent as a means to walk away listen i didn't pick this channel to be about teaching my team did so this is this is the message i have for you walking away and going in a direction that is more fulfilling. Peace.